I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on linear law. It helps you to convert nonlinear to the linear form, capital Y equals to M capital X plus C. Now, in this particular case, I will take four different examples so that we understand the process of linearization of some common functions, right? So we have taken y equals to x plus b over x, y equals to c over x plus d, y equals to p, x to the power of q, y equals to a, e to the power of minus kx. So we'll use simple algebraic techniques uh, to get the needful, and here we are going to use logarithms to get the answer, right? So let us first understand what is the linear law and what does it does. So basically it is used to reduce nonlinear form to a linear form. That is the major function, right? So when we say linear form, we say capital Y equals to M capital X plus C, right? Where M is the gradient. M is gradient and C is intercept is I should write Y capital Y intercept. Right so so that is what it is and Y equals to MX plus B is normal equation of the line since it is very similar and also if you plot capital Y along the vertical axis and the horizontal axis is capital X, then you get a straight line. So basically what we do here is that second thing, which is very important to understand, is that the converted linear form, which you have seen could be written in this form, has X labeled for, so we put X, capital X, for horizontal axis, and capital Y for vertical axis. The result is a straight line. Perfect. So that is what it is. Now we'll take examples, four of them. So let's begin with the very first one. So I'll use this page here and take a as my first example which is y equals to ax plus b over x right now as you must have noticed by now the key idea to get the solution is to somehow get a constant term so let me write down the key idea so key is get a constant correct that is the key now here how can you get a constant there are a couple of ways I could multiply by X getting B as a constant I could divide by X getting a as a constant right so clearly you see that we have two different ways correct right so we could do either one of so let us multiply by x. So we go for times x. So we do times x. So I could have written this as y times x equals to ax square plus b. Do you see that? So as soon as I write like this, what you really notice here is that I could now write it of the form capital Y equals to m capital X plus C, where capital Y is equal to YX, correct, and capital X is equal to X square. Now that really means that I could actually plot it. So if I plot it on a graph with the coordinates um, Y vertical axis, I will take yx right so i'll take yx here and on the horizontal i'll take x square then the result will be a straight line then the result will be a straight line where this point here is going to be c 
and the gradient let me write m will be equal to a do you understand the concept correct so that is how you get the whole thing right now as i was saying alternate method could have been that we could divide by x in that case we'll get a as our intercept and if i divide by x i get y over x here right y over x and 1 over x square on this side get another line so there are different ways of doing it perfect so we'll just give one way i'll leave the other for you to do now let's take the second example the second example here is y equals to c over x plus d so we could write this as so let's begin with y equals to c over x plus t so if i take the reciprocal then 1 over y equals to x plus d over c or we have 1 over y equals to x over c plus d over c clearly d over c is a constant right so now look at it we'll compare with the equation capital y equals to m capital x plus c correct so this is 1 over y equals to the x term is here so let me write this as 1 over lowercase c times x plus d over c correct so that becomes a linear form and in this linear form what are you going to take on both the axes the horizontal axis this time will be x correct and the vertical axis is going to be 1 over y to get a line which could be of this form right i'm just taking all positive values where this intercept here will be when x is 0 d over c right and the gradient m will be 1 over c does it make sense to you so that is how we interpret it right so let's take two more examples uh, then you'll get fairly good idea now here you have an equation y equals to p x to the power of q use logarithms to write it in the form capital y equals to mx plus c and then check with my solution so now let us do linearization of y equals to p which is a constant x is a variable over q now whenever you have exponential form you need to take logarithms on both sides so we can take log to the base 10 this is y equals to log to the base 10 of p times x to the power of q now we'll apply the logarithmic laws when you have product you could write them as sum right so log of y is equal to log of p plus log of x to the power of q now we can apply the power rule correct so we get log of y equals to log of p plus q times log of x now what we really need is that form so i'll write mx that is my mx term so we can write this as log of y equals to q times log of x plus log of p do you see this as in the form of capital y equals to m capital x plus c now you can pause the video sketch uh, approximately line with some values right so we'll assume everything positive here so we will definitely get a straight line right the gradient and the y intercept will really depend on these values so what should i write on the y axis the vertical axis it should be log of y correct on the horizontal axis it should be log of x correct then the gradient m is equal to q and this y intercept is log of p do you get the idea right so that is how we are going to do apply the linear law is that correct perfect now here is the last example linearization of y equals to a e to the power of minus kx so i like you to solve this particular question we'll take a small break a walk through the nature and then get back to this one correct okay. 
snowfall. case. I hope you enjoyed the walk. It is really beautiful out there. Might be snowing now. Okay, we have this equation y equals to a e to the power of minus kx. Now this is a very important equation which you come across so many times. Well, ln is log to the base e and you know ln, ln, sorry. Uh, so ln e is so if I have ln e, it is equals to 1, right? So that is the property which we are going to use. And if I have ln e to the power of, let's say, b, then using the power rule, it will be just b, correct? So just a reminder. So now we'll take natural log on both sides to form it, give it a linear type of form. So ln y is equal to ln again a e to the power of minus kx right applying the product rule so we get ln a which is a constant plus ln e to the power of minus kx right so that is ln y equals 2 so ln a uh, so that comes as a product so i write minus here so minus kx ln e right so that's what you get now rearranging, I could write this as ln y equals to minus kx uh, ln e plus ln a. Okay, so let me rewrite again as minus k, ln e is a constant, so I want to write ln e first, right? And then we'll write x plus ln a, right? Now can you tell me what should be there on the vertical and horizontal axis and what is the gradient for this particular example you can pause the video and answer this correct now in this particular case as you can clearly see we have l and y and on this side we have x the, the y-intercept, let me just draw a line here. So I'm always taking some positive values, right? So, you know, now the line here, the y-intercept here is ln y, uh, sorry, ln a, which is a constant. And the gradient m is minus k, ln e is one, right? So I should have written just one here for ln e, right? So let me rewrite. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, so we could write this as uh, minus kx. Okay. Okay, so, so ln e is 1. So we have minus kx plus ln a as ln y, correct? So the equation which we are talking about is ln y equals to minus kx plus ln a. Okay. So that is how we do linearization. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Uh, go through other related videos that will help you to understand this concept in more details and take up some application questions. Thanks for watching and all the best.